The standard model of particle physics is a theoretical framework that describes the fundamental particles and their interactions that make up the universe. It is one of the most well-established and successful theories in physics, and it has been extensively tested through a wide range of experiments. Author Rashmi Shivni describes the Lagrangian as a fancy way of writing an equation to determine the state of a changing system and explain the maximum possible energy the system can maintain. The model Lagrangian is considered to be one of the longest equations in physics. It was transcribed by Thomas Guitares, who is an assistant professor of physics at California Polytechnic State University. He derived it from Diagrammatica, which is a theoretical physics reference written by Nobel laureate Martinez Feldman. The first part of the equation describes gluons. Gluons are subatomic particles that mediate the strong nuclear force, which is responsible for holding protons and neutrons together in the nucleus of an atom. They are considered as the gaze bosons of the strong force. Gluons carry the color charge, which is a property of quarks, the building blocks of protons and neutrons. The strong force is mediated by the exchange of virtual gluons between the color charges of quarks, much in the same way that the electromagnetic force is mediated by the exchange of virtual photons between electric charges. The second and the most important part of the equation explains the interactions between the bosons, primarily W and Z bosons. The W and Z bosons are subatomic particles that mediate the weak force, which is responsible for a certain type of radioactive decay. They are considered as the gaze bosons of the weak force, which is one of the four fundamental forces of nature. The weak force is mediated by the exchange of virtual W and Z bosons between the weak charges of particles. These bosons are responsible for the weak interactions between particles. The third section of the equation explains the interactions between elementary matter particles and the weak force. It describes the three generations of matter particles, each with different masses, and how the weak force causes the decay of massive particles into less massive ones. Additionally, it describes how these particles interact with the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving them mass. However, there's one interesting fact to understand about the third section. It involves the equation that has an assumption that has been proven to be incorrect by recent discoveries in physics. Specifically, it assumes that neutrinos, which are a type of elementary particles, have no mass which has been disproven through experiments. The fourth section of the equation describes virtual particles, which are also called ghost particles. In physics, virtual particles are particles that exist for a very short period of time and can only be observed indirectly through their effects. They are also sometimes referred to as ghost particles. Virtual particles are not real physical particles, but rather mathematical constructs that are used to explain certain phenomena. In this part of the equation, the interactions between matter particles and the Higgs ghosts are described. The fifth and the final part of the equation explains the Fadiv Popov ghosts, which are mathematical constructs that are used to ensure the consistency of gaze theories, such as quantum electrodynamics and quantum chromodynamics. The Fadiv Popov ghosts are scalar fields which are used to cancel out unphysical degrees of freedom that arise in gaze theories. These unphysical degrees of freedom, also called gaze redundancies, are the result of the freedom to perform certain transformations on the fields without changing the physical observables. The Lagrangian for the standard model of particle physics is a complex mathematical expression that describes the interactions between various particles in the model. Since it is a technical expression, it requires a deep understanding of the underlying physics and mathematics to fully grasp it. As an interesting matter of fact, Guterres' dissemination of the transcript, he made a sign error somewhere in the equation. How many of you could find out that sign error? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you want to watch more such videos on physics, mathematics, philosophy and theology, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.